is Saturday, July 29, 2023. We're at Dublin Airport. And we just cleared uh, U.S. Customs and Immigration here. It's nice to have it done here. Just where you get off the plane in JFK, collect your nut luggage and go home. This isn't necessarily our airplane, but it's a nice sunny morning here at Dublin. All right, we're early. It's only 8.45 a.m. Dublin time, but we are actually officially in the United States. We've cleared U.S. Customs here. While we wait for the flight to board, it departs at 11.05, flight 105. Take a look around the airport and get some of these aircraft. There's an Airbus 330-300. And there's an Air Lingus Airbus 330-200. That's a Delta plane, not sure what type it is. At least Air Lingus has the decency to put the name of the aircraft on the fuselage. Well, there's an Air Lingus Airbus 321 in the white face paint scheme. Air Lingus is all Airbus planes. Ryanair 737 from Stansted, London to Dublin. Well, here comes American 132 from DFW to Dublin, 767. We're coming in is Delta 176 from Atlanta, Airbus 350. Great vantage point. It's Ryanair from Pisa, Italy to Dublin. About to land is Air Lingus 118 from Dulles Airport, Washington to Dublin with an Airbus 321. Landing on runway 28L. Here's Ryanair from Liverpool, England. Air Lingus and Ryanair, the two most dominant carriers here. Well, here comes Ryanair, a 737 MAX from Manchester, England. Right behind him will be Air Lingus 106 from JFK. Right at 9.14 a.m., about to land is Air Lingus 106, the same aircraft that we flew in on last Sunday, has the reporting letters FNG, Airbus 330. This most likely will be our flight back to JFK at 11.05. You can see Air Lingus 106 in the background with the Airbus 330, FNG. See which way he's going to go. Got an American Airlines flight to Chicago backing out. And there it is, our good friend, Air Lingus FNG, taxiing after his flight from JFK. comes Delta 44 from JFK to Dublin, 767. All right, we caught it. 
couple of flights from the UK coming in. This is an Aer Lingus Airbus 321 from Manchester, followed by a British Airways Airbus 319 from Heathrow Airport, London. comes British Airways from London Heathrow, my former employer, Airbus 319.
I had a bottle of wine, you pay about 650 euro for it, 6.50 euro, and wine was good. Uh, it's nice to take these daytime flights, daylight all the way, and you fly for hours and hours and hours, and still get back to New York relatively early in the day, so it's good. It has its advantages. Good to gain time than to lose time, except if you're flying a red eye flight, then at least you can spend the day somewhere and then you arrive first thing in the morning. Just south of Greenland and southwest of Reykjavik, Iceland. Still got a ways to go before we get to the North American continent. about to reach the North American continent, approaching Labrador, Canada. We're a little ways north of St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. Newfoundland was established as a province in 1949. I believe Air Canada has a flight from St. John's to London. It's just a puddle jump. It takes a little over four hours, I think. that they served us. It was good though. Had beans on the inside. Chicken tikka. Chicken. Tikka. Tikka? Tikka. Tikka. Yeah. It was good. It was a combination of several things. A little chicken, some beans on the inside. Sort of like a shepherd's pie that we never saw when we were in Ireland. <laughs> want to have a shepherd's pie, go to an Irish restaurant in anywhere but Ireland. Of ourselves, and we look forward. 
Belmont racetrack and UBS Arena right next to it. I should know my own piece of real estate.
see the air train over there in the background. It's 143. Cabin crew to turn you to a right-hand cross-check. 